The views and opinions expressed on From the Mouths of Madness are that of the panel and not of the Geeks Under the Influence Network or their sponsors. Listeners, beware. Straight from the mouths of madness. I'm low down with me as always is. F you, Hunter. What's up, you glass eating bitches? Glass eating bitches. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, mm. scissors to the face, bitches. They go right down the throat. Ew. Well, they gave, see, they gave you that in the in the trailer too, though. I still like it though. Yeah, I like that yeah. close up. Like, well, yeah. Well, it's what the, it's what was said during the scene. Is, yeah. is like, oh really? Oh, oh man. So all right, we're not gonna fucking hold back on this. But before we before we do dig into the episode, I just want to please ask everyone to like comment subscribe share all across the socials and you know as you're running through our episodes make sure to just do that it helps us out a lot and just you know people don't think the ai and the algorithms are, are, are important doing that but it actually is and we'd appreciate it yeah even just on comment on some of the episodes you know yeah, things something that, like that like i said yeah. like comment share subscribe just give, give the madness boys some love yeah 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 the man boys some love <sighs> all right so tonight on the chopping block we're gonna be talking about 2023's evil dead rise now, <laughs> all right. First off, all right. I want to first off get this. I want to say this out of the gate. Uh, get it out. Get it out. I did not in- think it was as good of a film as 2013's. Like okay. out, the, out the gate, just that's not a neg- it's not a negative because 2013's was like one of those surprise movies, right? Like you didn't expect that to be fucking as good as it was. Yeah. Right. I I, I saw 2013 like a month before it was actually released. I saw a sneak preview of it. Yeah. And Fideo, and um and I think Alvarez. I was used yeah, and I think I was used as a <laughs> You were the trial. Yeah, you were like, the guinea pig. Now spread the word spread before the word, it comes yeah. out that this is like when we legit. saw Dread, we're like, wait a minute, this yeah. is fucking sweet. Hold on a second. Yeah. He's still wearing the helmet. Yeah, no shit. And he's not smiling once yeah. <laughs> at all throughout yeah. the movie. Um and Fideo, and again, you know, I forget why they said Fede Alvarez didn't come back for this. Like I think it was it was it was supposed to be I think a continuation of initially the um Ashley I character. Th- see, I thought it was more of Raimi just want them one to kind of go out. I'm talking about like immediately after the success of twenty thirteen. Oh, so yeah. We're, we're going back a decade, right? God, it's been twenty eight, ten years between even them movies. This cannot happen, people. Um anymore. Well, there's a little thing in between the two movies. Like Yeah, that's true. But know? they had ar- they had already dipped away from Ash. And that's that realm of I know, but that's like sixty hours of Evil Dead between the two movies. It's right? true, but again, it's not at all where the that remake set the franchise because right. this movie takes off the way that movie goes. It's like that's the that's the vein we're going to get from the Evil Dead movies. It seems like moving I'm forward. just saying there's no blatant like we gave you a video game like they, they didn't do that like yeah, yeah, between yeah, army of darkness yeah. <laughs> and the the reboot that was like we, you got some video games that counts right guys no, like no, no, we guys. actually got 60 See, plus yeah, hours yeah. of the evil dead yeah, universe fair so that's fair. a little bit of fair fair bit. fair fair, yeah. fair um but yeah i just want to get that right out of the gate it is not um and it's not because it's we'll get into reasons why uh there's just there's certain things they did with the possessed or at deadites that i'm like oh that that I mean, that's good. It's just not quite what would happen. You know what I mean? Like just based off all of the, even the games, all the inf- all the different iterations of Deadites we've got, we've had. You right. know, like I can co- I can come out of the gate. Um, look, motherfuckers, spoilers. Um, I can come out of the gate and say the cheese grater scene pissed me the fuck off because if it was a Deadite, that shit would have been down to the bone, bro. One yeah. slice, that was weak sauce, dude. Yeah. Weak uh... sauce. Right? Aren't you disappointed? Bruce Campbell even fucking talked that shit up when Groots and I went to see him at Bruce at the Bruce Arama thing at the National. He was like, yeah. Oh, there's a fucking cheese grater. I'm you like, should see flesh like <laughs> cheese coming That's straight what I'm saying, out. Dude. It's kind of a rubby rub rub. Like yeah. you might no, as well get it's a scouring. once. Yeah. It's once. But you should have like scour scour pad. Unless yeah. unless and I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention. Do we see her leg? In the rest, in the rest of the movie, because it's just wrapped up. Okay, but there is that potential that you can get away with something, some stuff, mm-hmm. and you have to make wheel. You got to make deals with the the MPA in order to get stuff to not get a harder shirt rating, which is weird in this day and age. Yeah, but dude, what do they, what do they give away in twenty thirteen? Holy shit! Like the like, I know, <laughs> I know. Like so, when I meant uh, what I meant by like deadite fashion, that was one of the big ones. Is they don't stop. It's kind of like art 
Like, art is reminding me very much of, like, how a deadite would attack you. It's just going to keep stabbing you in the same place until you get it off of it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I rewatched uh, the first Terrifier, and, like, the scene where she, they're, high, like, they're doing that little suspense scene through the garage, and he, she looks around, doesn't see him, and all of a sudden he's, he's behind her. He, like, either grabs her and starts stabbing her or bites her first and then starts, but he keeps stabbing her in the same place on her leg over yeah. and over and over and over. And that's what Dead Eyes do. Dead Eyes didn't stop. You know, and th these the all the deadites seem to have still have some sort of consciousness in this movie. Th 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 you know what I mean? Like they seem to be a more aware of what they were doing and not just out to kill. That's true. I, I'll give you that. Does that there, make sense? There's a little bit of maybe it's because they're gonna have to go a little more broad world with this. Is yeah, what yeah, it yeah. seems yeah. like. So you have to give a little more of like not just like I fuck shit up and I kill the person that I'm inhabiting, but like almost like I'm. Make this is a virus I'm spreading. Yeah. So. Yeah, and and I I should have had beats a little bit of 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 uh, wreck in it. I felt like with it being on one floor and then yeah, they yeah, kind of yeah. trapped and like like okay well they're good so let's take oh oh they're fucked up now and fuck I have to get I have to run away from this other person. Yeah, yeah. Very much the kind of the same beat. Oh no, that, that that's very much it's it's very much an Evil Dead movie. Like don't get me wrong, I just wanted to start out with some of the things oh, that initially. I thought like, I thought you were gonna complain about how we've got like fucking like four kills. And you only see portions of them through a peephole. I feel like we kind of got robbed on that shit. See, oh, I, didn't, I didn't make it there yet. See, the big, the big, okay. the big blatant that, one. That was, was the one. That the was big the one blatant that... one what, that we knew was coming was the cheese grater. Right. And that was the letdown. Now I was going to get to that fucking peephole scene. And I'm like, that. What the fuck? Because. You got four kills. Yeah, I mean, we always start with one what? of them being a kid. I know, like one of them being we, we a start with what year old. nine people. Mm -hmm. So when you kill four people and you see them slightly getting killed through a people. That's four wasted kills. And it's you a dead eye kill. It's a dead eye kill. I know, I know. Like, come on. And you come out, and again, I don't know if we're going through the same beats that we just talked about with fucking uh, Renfield, but is there going to be this, like, maxed out fucking director's cut of, like, oh, no, version, we're going to yeah. show you, like, longer cheese grater scene, actual outside the people scene, because that was weird. Yeah, That seemed yeah. really bizarre to just go, yeah, you know, like, yeah, they're it, dead. It, it did. They're dead. You know how it happens. Like Evil Dead movies, you show the kills. You show the fucking kills. And this one goes, yeah, you get the gist of it. No, we're not watching to get the gist of it. We want to see fucked up shit happen. It's yes. an Evil Dead movie. Yes, hundred percent. Like yeah. you know, that's the reason. Like people that continue to watch the Evil Dead movies, that's one of the reasons they're watching the Evil Dead movie. You know what I mean? Like I want to see the fucked up shit. So I, I mean that 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 did surprise me. I thought it, the, the other side of me is like it was a cool cinematic choice. Yeah. Why the why the people became such a big deal? If he did a kill. If you yeah. saw like someone run by and then you. But see... we had the old man, the young dude, his younger brother, and then there was well, another fourth person that was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Yeah. So, and I should I was going to say with the people I should have known these dead edge are going to be slightly different than. In the, what we've seen in the past, because they give you that in the trailer all the time when she says through the people, like nothing that, you know, a, 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 a hug and a kiss from you won't fix kind of thing. Yeah. Like they're, they're kind of letting you, uh, I feel like they were letting you know, like, hey, these guys, because most dialogue you got was them using a voice turned away from them to try to trick them. Yeah. Right. But they rarely talked in sentences. Right. And now you get like the trailer showed a full blown sentence. So I should well, have already you known have a little bit of that. I mean, remember like literally Ash has her head and she's like, Ash, please. Like she's like pleading with him yeah. right before she's like, no, go fuck yourself. Like, yeah. so you have a little, little bit, bit, but this was like way, a little bit of monologuing, way monologuing. Bit, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of demon eye monologuing. Like, yeah. Oh, we'll take over that. And we'll also do this. You're like, no, no, you just say take over in it's souls. Fine. And, it's fine. And we get the, yeah, we got the whole cool. idea. I will say, the way they used Dead by Dawn in this was fucking awesome. Yeah, when they're like, like the whole hallway, just like the way they just, yeah, because we didn't. I don't think we got a Dead by Dawn in the 2013. No, no, no this no. one definitely has. I, I would say Evil Dead Two. Um, shout outs left yeah. and right. Oh yeah, with like, dialogue, comedy, yeah, shots. I mean, dude, come on. When you see an eyeball fly out and go right into somebody's mouth, well, that's an ode to. That's Army. two. Is it two? No, it is two. two. Yeah, it is two, yeah. And yeah. I can say this for sure because back in the day when I used to watch, this age me, Headbangers Ball, 
the intro to Headbanger's Ball, which is clips from Evil Dead 2, and they always showed that eyeball go right into her mouth. <laughs> right into her and her so mouth. I'm watching this movie, that's the eyeball <laughs> fly out. I go, all right, let's go into somebody's mouth. Let's go. Let's yep. do it. So that's like the top like shout out. And then obviously you have lines of dialogue that are just like, you know, yeah. I mean, come get some. Yeah, come on. Fuck, dude. Come get some. Oh. oh. That was sick. Um, some of the things that I really dig about it is that they go into uh you know that there's three books, so we're getting a different book from the 2013 movie. Yep. You know that's why it looked differently. You know, I had the teeth keeping it. Of course, that cut and that's what cut the finger and the blood and it. And I, I like the re- the record thing, where like dude, when she uses her mouth as a speaker, that freaked me the fuck out, dude. Yeah. We, like again, we haven't gotten that before. So the big thing I think that we got in this film was you know how what they followed through from 2013 was like, and similar to like the original was. Every time someone became a deadite, it's how they what they do to themselves. Yeah, that's the picture in the book, and same thing here, right? You know, especially at the end, which was completely different. That we have never gotten anything like that in an Evil Dead movie. You talking about the thing? The thing? Dead, the thing yeah, the thing dead. The thing dead. The thing dead. But uh, when she at that one point when she puts her fingernail on the record and then opens her because that bitch got a big mouth. Yeah, that actress. Yeah, I was like, that is fucking creepy. Like that just looked. Ugh. And of course, they use the wall. They use some wall crawling stuff, which again, that wasn't a thing either. Like that's more like you know newer to horror in the last ten years. There's a lot of across the ceiling and across the wall shit. Yeah, you know. But reading uh, from the book and uh, the, the whole mythos there, it, w- it just wasn't the same thing. Oh, dude, I'll tell you a scene that made me fucking jump was when he goes into the old vault and that fucking cross falls. Yeah, that's uh, what the fuck, dude. And that's the thing. This is the first one we had set up where yeah, like. The intention were nobody will ever see this fucking book again. And yeah. It took a fucking earthquake and somebody just not understanding the beats of don't fuck with this shit. Yeah. yeah. Don't fuck with this shit. Maybe I should fuck with this shit. Mm-hmm. Well, dude, you, you, when you open the book up from the she's cloth, there was nothing but like moss and shit that flew out. Like there's there's things telling you leave this thing the fuck alone. You know. Yeah. Um, but that I thought that was the way they set it up was really cool. Um, I, I did I did end up digging the you know that in fact it was in a uh, building and the stairwell was broken and they were isolated. Like you think you're isolating the cabin in the middle of nowhere. At least you can run out of the cabin and you just got you, and you might have to fight trees. But like it's wide open space. Talk about claustrophobic as fuck. You're fucked. This yeah. is a claustrophobic movie. Yeah. Um, well, that's what I'm saying. It has the beats of like wreck where like you're kind of trapped like in this. <laughs> I was going Demons 2. Yeah. When I said that when I first found out it was going to be in the city, I was like, I hope it is not another Demons 2. I guess two. Demons 2. E- either yeah. way, where you're trapped in this building, you're trying to figure out how to get out, and the people that are helping you get out of the building eventually are the people that are going to fuck you up. Like, mm-hmm. And you're like, just, oh, oh, you're not around anymore. You're probably going to show up and try to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was really cool how some of the scenes, they, they didn't give you the exact scene in the, uh, in the trailer. Like the scene where she says, Mommy's with the Magus now, and then she jumps out of the tub and... Um, does the scream thing? Yeah, it's like reversed. I thought that because I was expecting that. I'm like, oh, that happens first. Okay, cool. And uh, just the, her movements, like uh, the, the the movement, her movements were really like she did great. Like, yeah. I don't know, I can't remember the actress's name, but she did awesome. She's been in something. I can't. Yeah, she, she looks was really... on like Vikings. I think. Okay, she was on the Viking series. Yeah. Um, maybe, and I'm probably missing something else she's been on. Um, but I thought she did uh, a phenomenal job. Like she looked creepy as fuck. And... Now. Did you think they were for a minute there they were gonna go there after watching the remake, twenty thirteen remake, when she brings up she's pregnant, mm. and you're like, okay, what level is this movie gonna go to? Uh, and they didn't go there, but they came made you made me think for a second, like, oh fuck, yeah, are they about to go there? <laughs> they didn't, uh, but uh, given that information <laughs> right before you open the book of the dead, yeah, uh, where are we gonna go with this yeah, guy? Like, so I like yeah. that taunting. Anybody that's watching of the Evil Dead movies and you give them that information, you're like, how fucked up is this shit going to get? No shit. Yeah. Like, no, for real. They that didn't was... go there. Yeah. And there was, the other thing I do laugh about is, is that we get to the parking garage. Mm-hmm. And off in the end, parked off to the side is a wood chipper. And I went, you knew, I, you knew, you, you know, knew. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a call back to that later on in the movie. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> You knew. You can't you knew, have dude. in the Evil Dead movie. You can't have oh a machine that chops the fuck out of stuff and, and spits out. Uh, yeah, I wonder if that's gonna be in the movie. Yeah, yeah. No, that if it wasn't, that'd be some. Uh, what, what remake was it where they didn't use the fucking thing that they were supposed to use? And I was like, oh, that's some bullshit. That would have. I, I would have 
I would have just shot this movie down. We'd be done. Oh, this I mean, what are we talking about with Hunter Killer? Where it's just Hunter like, Killer, yeah. yeah, every machinery and saws and everything. Oh, we're not going to use that, but you see it. Yeah, yeah see but it. That, that Hunter Killer are different because we didn't know initially what ta- you know what kind of movie it was going to be. Like there, there, I feel like there was a sequel to something that came out and they didn't utilize something, and we're like that. It makes no sense yeah. for this style of for this movie for this franchise film. No, now, they they definitely um yeah when they you know once the two kids become deadites. And we and we, we mentioned you know the glass break swallowing thing, but that that scene was just that was where there was some creepy and some comedy because she's like, I don't like when things move in my tummy. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, what? That is, oh, <laughs> uh, maybe that's really where I've noticed that this is like another version of a dead eye because that particular one did not feel true to kind of like that was a little different. Yeah, so. Um, just letting him know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that, that one was just like, I don't know. It was, I think it was meant to be funny and it was, I giggled, but I feel like it wasn't like, they're always saying fucked up shit, but this one yeah. was kind of a weird fucked up. Yeah, it was weird. But in the same essence, we don't usually get, I mean the show, but movie wise, you don't get a lot of kids. This is the first one that had younger. Yeah. So yeah, there's a little bit of that. That's I got true. a tummy ache. Yeah, like and like if if it was one of the adults, you'd be like, mm, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, it's a li- it makes a little more sense that you have. It's That's a true. Te- it's a preteen, but still, at least again, with the exception of the TV show, the movies you don't have kid like deadites. No, that, that that's a good point. That is true. That is true. Um, uh, can I throw out one thing? I do want to figure out what the budget was on the blood because. The elevator scene was like, you know, when The Shining and they see the elevator open with the blood, we got to see the prequel of that fucking elevator <laughs> yeah, yeah. by filling, filling up. up with fucking <laughs> blood. Like, I was impressed with the yeah, amount of blood. You're, yeah. you're about to drown in blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was the King, the King, or well, the Kubrick fan of me was like, ooh, I see yeah. what they're doing here. Yeah. yeah. Um, also... The elevator scene that was where, you know, the mom initially got possessed. That was a whole new thing. And I, I thought was not we expect- were going to go. Yeah. I was like, where's that other cable going to go? Yeah. But no, but they, that's where, like, the one scene you got where they just, like, rip her arm <laughs> in a way it's not supposed to go. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Oh, were there some scenes uh, for, for you that I'm trying to remember? You just talked about the sucking out the eyeball. Exactly. Like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, really? Yep. But, then it, but then it was, okay, Then it, but it was done in a funny way. Now what would have been fucked is the tattoo to the eyeball thing, which they showed you a little bit in the trailer. But I felt I figured it might have went to. That's an ode to me to 2013, where he almost gets the fucking needle yeah, the dude in the gets eyeball. fucking needle. No, yeah. he gets the needle in the eye, man. Oh, it's like right below his, like right below yeah. his eye. It's not in his eyeball, right? It's, it was, like, but yeah. No, no, no. He, he, he pulls he, it he, out from like right below his eye. He gets eye. so fucked up. Yeah, uh, who yeah, knows, yeah. man? I've lost count with I, that. Dude. I rewatched that like three days before I went to see yeah. Rise, and literally, it's like it's like right under. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right, like whatever fleshy parts, uh, like above the socket before the eyeball, it's like right there. You're like, oh my fucking god! I do want to throw out. I really like the misdirection at the beginning because all the trailers, it's in this building, shit's fucked up. And how does it start the movie? Like in a yeah, cabin, but you knew out that during was the day, be somewhere during the day, yeah. and it's just like, huh? But you knew that was going to be somewhere because that was in the trailer. The whole scalping and then the dropping it on the dock. Right, but I like that. I like that water. you started that way. And yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Now, how do we get here? Let's backtrack a little bit. Oh, so. another thing that fu- that uh, there, oh, there's got to be more gore in some unrated cut because that's another thing that fucked me up was I thought that her face would be fucked after a drone to the dome. Yeah, and when she came out of water, I was like. What the? F- it's like you got just like sliced. Yeah, like it, were, it was like, very it, it like hurt, it hurts. I need the back team. Yeah, yeah, like what the <laughs> fuck? I need band aid stat. Like yeah, took a no, drone no, 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 to no. the face. Drone to that size drone. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't need band aids. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need a surgeon stat. All right. Yeah. Uh, so okay, you, so we're in agreement on that. That, that, that yeah. there, I think there was some wasted like fucked up special effects there. I'm just curious if this is a new trend that they're just like we want we want those cells on these movies mm-hmm. and the only way to really do it is go look yeah you saw one version of it but we got a lot of shit you didn't see so you better be the extra money to buy like who knows but mm-hmm. it just seems like there's stuff missing i could be wrong but no it does it seems like there's some stuff missing I, I agree now that being said um before we give you a final evaluation take a look see what's happening in the gui network take a listen 
in a world with too many reboots and remakes, two men will stop at nothing to make it even worse. Join Mike the Hobbit and Tondi as they play by their own rules while pitching new takes on some of your favorite and least favorite films and TV shows. What podcast would dare to bring this upon the world? This is Smack My Pitch Up. My name is Amy Bogard. And I'm Mike the Hobbit. And we are the hosts of Deeply Upsetting, where we use our expertise to answer your most upsetting hypothetical quandaries, such as what non wigged animal deserves wings? And what body part deserves a secret mouth? Which cryptid is the worst roommate? These questions and more that plague you will be answered on Deeply Upsetting, available anywhere you get your podcasts and at GUIPodcast.com. Coming straight from the mouths of madness, I'm Lowdown. I'm F.U. Hunter. Do you love horror? We fucking do. So this is a podcast dedicated to all things in cinematic horror. We're talking movies, television, composers, special effects artists. We're going to fucking cover it. So if you love horror, embrace the madness. In a world of blockbuster movies, there's another dimension. The dimension of schlock cinema. Join us at Beautiful Disasters on a journey into the fringe territory of B-movie abandon. We review the flicks that are forgotten or underappreciated to give them a proper place in the annals of celluloid history. I'm the Groots. F.U. Hunter. Your guides at Beautiful Disasters. Come along with us for a fun ride. May May the the schlock be with you. you. All right. All that said, like, I, it passed for me. Like, I enjoyed the film. Yeah. Like, a lot. Like, I thought it was a very enjoyable film. And I think part of the problem, Hunter, that we're talking about is, like, is there going to be, a, like, a director's cut or an unrated version that comes out as well? Um, I don't really think so. I just think that this is... It's, we're we're going to get people that want to take on the property and make a movie that's not going to feel like... It's going it, it, to... Like, they want to make it to feel like its own thing. Like, Evil... I think when as Evil Dead continues it's going to be different directors and different ways to go for alvarez we've seen stuff since he's done that and all his shit's fucked up yeah you know plus here's the like, thing is that like we had the remake mm-hmm. and like that's that's top tier dude like yeah dude. you know i mean like, like, like look I, I really like casino but it would never be goodfellas level no. i i like this movie but it's but not it gonna, gonna be, be evil dead. Dead. yeah and you no. see what i'm saying there's a lot of the same beats a lot of fun but it just isn't what I yeah. love the most. I'll yeah. own it. It's rewatchable. Yeah. You know, but it's just not for the, the franchise. Level. Yeah. It it's it's it, it stays the course. Yes, exactly. Let's say that. Hundred percent. Because we we get sure that final shit. scene, dude. We didn't do, we 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 also didn't just really discuss that, but that fucking humanoid thing was creepy as fuck. And then like we actually got a pretty solid shots. Yeah. Of it, but I will also say. That was CGI. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's great CGI. That also dropped. And there 20, was a, you know it wasn't in 2013? Except for the tree rape. Yeah. CGI. Yeah. <laughs> I will say that was most of the stuff you, you're like is practical. There's obviously some digital. That was blatantly, we're going to go to digital. Yeah. They, well, yeah. And they didn't hire. Uh, and. What's Baker? They didn't hire Baker to. Maybe a little less. Kind of Show a little less. Yeah. Give us the idea. But. They, yeah. When it was in the shadows. Days, this day, these days, you gotta be like, oh fuck, look at it. It's got like four arms and fucking eight legs. Oh, look at it. It's great. Not, not no. to mention that it's also just her show. kids. <laughs> it's like her and her children. I know, but like, like, have some fun. But don't you don't have to show the whole thing if you're gonna go digital. If you go practical, fuck yeah, give me it in its greatness. Mm-hmm. But if you're not, give me a little glimpse and mm-hmm. then shove it in the wood chipper. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that would have been better. Yeah. And also, like you know, we in the first part of the episode we did mention dialogue. Like, there was a lot of uh, dialogue that seemed out of sorts, but when it counted, like, the dialogue was still fucked up. Like, she was, like, like giving her shit. What, what was that scene? That one thing she said to her was, like, uh, open this door like you opened your legs for blah, blah, blah. You oh, yeah, groupie. yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. And the same thing, like, she said something to her at the wood chipper that was fucked up. Like, something like, you're going to fuck up your kid or some stupid shit like yeah. that. So they were, they were still hitting these uh, emotional fucking chords with the person that they were trying to kill. Yeah. As is Dead Eye Fashion. You know, especially, well, I feel like that really got big in 2013. That was a big thing in 2013 where they're saying some fucked up shit to you 
Like, <laughs> yep. we'll fucking kill you. And I will give that in, in reference to some of the, but then that felt natural to me as as a deadite. It was all the other stuff. I, you know, I will throw this out there. I do like having the mo- the the parent child relax because. You know, you've got your girlfriends possessed. You've got your brother, when your, your mom's possessed. But when like, your mom's possessed, it's like, trust me. And the little girl, and for me, you're like, bitch, you've seen what she's done to people, but it's her mom. Yeah. And yeah. if there's any way, like, do you give up on your mom? Like, what if it's just now the things like it's calmed down? She's her mom's taking over. Let her back in. That's all she needs to get mm-hmm. better. Yeah, I trust you, mom. Yeah. Now us as Evil Dead fans know. Like, no. No, that's no. just the dead I'd fucking with you. Yeah. But I could s- I understand the little girl going, okay, maybe mom's better now. Mm-hmm. She sounds like mom. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's fucked up. But she's also not looking at the motions that like this, she's not moving like mom. Because that whole thing, she's right. not moving but like again, mom. She's yeah. a child. It's her yeah. mom. She's yeah. like, I know. maybe I should try. Like, that's the level we've never really seen before. I do appreciate that. And then the next time you see her, she's, being, she's literally hanging by her arm, oh, like being joked. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But no, um, and I will say, they gave us a really cool little nod to all Evil Dead movies when they first go out to open the door to get to the fire escape. Yep. And the, you, then you go back in and you see the mom take the knife out of her up because it went up her nose. And then the next thing you see, she's doing the float, scream, like charge. And then she gets her leg blown off by a shotgun. Oh, yeah. And then her arm blown off. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, because of course they bring in the shotgun and the chainsaw. Yep. Like I don't care what you do with the film if there are not those two things in these in a fucking Evil Dead movie, you fucked up. Yeah. And like, but you didn't make it blatantly obvious, and I appreciate that. Yeah. It wasn't like, well, I got my chainsaw and shotgun collection in this in this closet. Yeah, it was the same thing in 2013. It was like you just there, you you it something you grabbed, to grab. You grabbed what was close. Yeah, exactly. It and just I'm like, happened okay. to be those two weapons. Okay. Yeah, and that's fine. I'm a okay with that. You know, the chainsaw thing, she had to call through a tunnel after a fucking thing came out of hell to <laughs> come after her and try to fill it with gas and all that shit, right? Yeah. So, um, overall, though, yeah, I'm going to watch it again. Yeah, I'm watching it. watch it with friends. It's I, fun. I feel like, you know, again, I, 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 I can see having it on my shelf. You yeah. Know? I don't, I didn't, you know, it's rewatchable. You know, it's not the black sheep of the series. No. I, I mean, there hasn't been one. And I, I appreciate that. Yeah. But that means we're due one. I know. There's no series Shit. that doesn't have a black sheep. Then we sheep. just get cocky like, yeah. man, you can't fuck <laughs> yeah. up people with that. No, there's no series that doesn't have at least one fucking stinker. Yeah. And oh, yeah, man. right? God damn it. We're we'll due one. Oh, it's going to happen man, we, somewhere. We fucked it. Yeah. Oh, shit. And it's going to be old, when we're old and crotchety. We're yeah. like, God damn it. My day, it was just blood and glass eating. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, hit us up. Let us know what you think. Um, and until we talk to you again, embrace the madness.